before making any adjustments to the seat matters chairs, lock the two brake casters at the back of the chair for safety. To replace the control box on a Sydney, first we need to remove the cover of the control box to gain access to the ports. Before removing all the cables from their ports, it is good practice just to make a note of which cable goes where, especially if your cables don't have the numbers on. These numbers correspond with the numbers already on the control box, but if they don't, it's good practice just to follow the cable back, making sure to make note of which actuator is which. So number one is for the back angle recline. Number two is for the leg rest actuator. Number three is for the tilt and space actuator and number four is for the lifting column. This middle connection has a battery sign on and it can only go on this connection. Once all the cables have been removed, you then need to remove the control box from the battery Using a screwdriver, push it into this release tab and that will allow the control box to slide off. Finally, we can just remove the plug from the control box. To fit the new control box, we need to slide it on to this connection on the battery. Then we reattach the plug, making sure we push it in so none of the red is showing. We then need to plug each cable back in in the correct location so the same location that they were whenever we took them out. Then finally, plug in the handset back in. And then close the cover on the control box.